Well, uh, let me just start by saying I'm always skeptical when people talk about states as actors. In fact, states are complex entities. It's not clear whether one's referring to the country or the government or whatever it might be. That said, what I would say is the following. There's a growing number of like-minded governments, leaders, who believe that we need to move in a new direction on drug policy, one that seeks to reduce the harms of prohibition while minimizing the harms of drug use. You see, for example, the current presidents of Colombia, Santos, Senado Perez in Guatemala, Mujica in Uruguay, and some others, perhaps Correa in Ecuador. You see governments in Europe. Uh, I think what's important is for them to act in a more coordinated and forceful fashion in the international environments, at the UN drug meetings, in their own bilateral and multilateral discussions on this, and also ensuring that when the president is providing some form of leadership in this area, that all elements of his government follow suit. It's not sufficient for the president to call for a new direction, but that to be undermined by his own law enforcement people or his own delegates at the Vienna UN meetings. So I think that's the most important way for the people who believe that drug policies should be grounded in science, compassion, health, and human rights to operate much more effectively in advancing their agenda in a multilateral and global environment.